meeting, which was attended by 20 uh, NEC members. And we are very, very happy that uh, we uh, had a full house. We also have among us uh, members of parliament from both the Senate and the National Assembly who have been able to join us. And uh, I would really want to, uh, I want to welcome even the ones who are, we want everybody on board. Together with me here, yeah, and also a representative from uh, the MCS uh, focus from uh, the county uh, of Nairobi. Uh, with us here, we have our acting uh, 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 party leader. We have our substantive uh, chair of uh, UPD. We have the deputy uh, acting deputy uh, chairman. We have the deputy party leader. Uh, the two of them here, we have my deputy here, Kutun. Uh, we also have uh, our leader in the National Assembly, Onabwarama, uh, and the, the, also the leader in the Senate, Onabogetuku. Um, uh, we have our woman uh, leader in the, in the party, Onabomumina, and uh, a host of members of parliament who are, who are some who are here and uh, others who have left because of uh, other engagements. I want first of all to read uh, to you the, the statement of the deliberations that we have had today. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. The National Executive uh, Committee, NEC, has met this morning and deliberated on, among others, the report of the National Disciplinary Committee, that is the TNDC, relating to the disciplinary matters against the Honorable Jeremiah Keone, the Honorable David Murade and, uh, on, um, and Mr. Kagwe Ishohi that were referred to the committee on the 10th or the 20th of April this year. As you are aware, the political parties disputed tribunal, that is PPDT, delivered its judgment in the case number PPDT 001 of 2023, which was filed on the 14th of February 2023 by Honorable Jeremiah Keone seeking to quash the resolutions of NEC passed on the 10th of February this year. On the 19th April 2023, exactly a month today, the PPDT delivered its judgment in the said case and declined to quash the resolutions of NEC and refer the matter to the party internal dispute resolution mechanism. The TNDC concluded its hearing of the said uh, disciplinary matters this week and forwarded its decision to NEC in accordance with the Article 14.1.12 of our party constitution, which provides that the National Disciplinary Committee shall report its findings and the decision to the National Executive Committee for adoption, ratification, variation, or substitution in accordance with Article 14 4 of our Constitution. The NEC has adopted the TNDC findings and the same have been communicated to the affected parties. We have accordingly resolved to adopt the findings of TNDC as follows. One, that is a complaint of uh, 2023 Jubilee Party versus Honorable Jeremiah Keone. The committee found that Honorable Kioni is guilty of the following charges. A. Gross misconduct. Article 14.3.1.1 provides that lack of respect for organs of the party is in this print. No organ of the party was spared by the member in this disregard. Two. He lacked uh, respect for the party organs. The charged member, by assuming duties which are clear and expressly, uh, the express provision vested upon other organs and officials of the party. C. He failed and neglected to carry out his duties as directed by the party. The member failed to call a neck meeting as expected of his duties under, his, uh, under this constitution. You may uh, note that um, since we were put in office, on the 26th of February last year, 
there was no neck meeting that was done for a whole one year until the neck that we did on the 10th. Sanctions under Article 10, Article 14, 4 of the Party Constitution. A. The charged member is hereby expelled from the party effective from the date of this decision. B. No order as to the cost. The second complaint of 2020, uh, 2023, that is Jubilee Party versus Honorable David Murade. The charged member was found guilty of both charges of A. Gross mode misconduct and B. Uh, lack of respect uh, to the decisions of party, or, of party and organs of the party. The sanctions under Article 14.4 of the party constitution stipulates that A. The charged member is hereby expelled from the party effective from the uh, date of this decision and B, no order as to the cost. The third complaint of 2023, that is Jubilee Party versus uh, Mr. Kagwegechoni. The charged member was found guilty of all the three charges of A, gross misconduct, B, failing, refusing, or neglecting to carry out directives, all instructions of the party, and C, lack of respect to the decisions of the party and organs of the party. Two, the committee found that the penalty to expel the member may be too harsh in the circumstances, but was also alive to the danger posed to the party for failing to comply with the financial requirements to qualify for disbursement of political uh, party's fund and the compliance to be set to be triggered by the charged member. Sanctions under Article 14.4 of the Party Constitution. The charged member shall be suspended from Jubilee Party for a period of two years, commencing from the date of this judgment. Two parties shall bear their own cost. NEC also received a report of the Internal Dispute Dissolution uh, Committee, that is IDRC, forwarding their ruling, staying the Special National uh, Delegates Convention, SNDC, that was uh, convened for the 22nd of May, 2023, by His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, that is next week. The orders of IDRC arise from the complaint filed by the National Chairman on the 11th of May, 2023. The, uh, the next would like to inform all our members that the IDLC ruling is binding, passed one to the powers of the committee, provided under Article 16B of our Constitution, and the rules 9A and B of IDLC rules. The NEC has further resolved the following. One, that the aforesaid findings of TNDC and the IDRC be communicated to the Office of the Registrar of Political Parties, ORPP, for the updating of party records. Two, that the members of our party be notified of the IDRC ruling that has stayed the SNDC that had been con uh, conveyed or convened by His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta for the 22nd May 2023. So in fact, it means that there will be no uh, special NDC on Monday. And three, the party will advise our members on the date of the special national delegates convention after finalization of the district <coughs> which is pending hearing and determination before IDRC, signed by the acting national secretary general. I would really want to thank the members who came very, very early to um, hear the verdict that was given by our internal organs, and I am happy that the uh, NEC agreed with the internal organs and the verdict. I will now want to invite if there is any question or any clarification, but before that, we want to give uh, yeah, so basically that's uh, the ruling and we will be able to give you a copy of the same. Question, uh, question is, yes, this is Karanja. NTV. 
Now, um, the disciplinary committee which made this uh, decision, which you have become to as the uh, committee, has found itself on the papers. You have seen another uh, communication from the other faction, the Kioni faction, stating that those are not uh, working for Jubilee Party and that there is no such uh, committee that was listening to them. Two, uh, the other faction of Jubilee Party still maintains that the NDC is on, regardless of uh, the venue not being confirmed. They spoke to the nation yesterday and they said that they will. the Monday NDC is still on, they will communicate to the members via WhatsApp. What would be your reaction to that? One, I want to make it very clear, there are no factions in Jubilee. There is only one Jubilee, the Jubilee that has been following the Constitution. Uh, secondly, I want to inform you and inform the country that the same Kioni team subjected themselves before the committee that now they are purporting is not there in office. They sent their lawyers before that committee, so they were properly represented in, the, in that committee. Secondly, you can also um, check with the registrar of political parties to check who are the members of uh, the various uh, committees that we have in our, in our party. So it's very, very clear. We have only one Jubilee. There is no NDC on Monday, and this is a team that has been following the law. And we are just awaiting what uh, the Registrar of Political Party is going to forward by next week. So you will treat whatever convergence happens on Monday? <coughs> if, and if they go ahead uh, to convene a meeting on Monday, it will just be assumed that uh, it's just another political rally, which anybody is free, but it is not binding, and it is not legally binding. I think that's... Uh